from Rixie. This is Debuff, and I'm your host, Steve Skeels. Uh, okay, everything is rolling. Uh, as we start, welcome back, uh, episode 94. Oh, we're um, just jumping right into it. Jumping then. right in. That's all right. I wasn't ready, but go ahead. This right. is... I bought this a few weeks ago, and then we started playing games a lot. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't want to wear this. It's fine, but <laughs> they're huge mustaches. <laughs> For the whole podcast? For the whole podcast. <laughs> audio listeners, uh, they're fake mustaches. If you're an audio listener, please... Uh, go to YouTube. Please clap. Oh. Or that. Dude, why did you buy these? Please clap. Please clap. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, because I saw a TikTok where these guys were just like talking to each other, but they all had mustaches on, and it was really fucking funny. <laughs> I bought one of these. Um, and I just thought it would be really funny for us to be talking seriously with these on. <laughs> you guys are just going to fucking laugh the whole time. Yeah, I probably. Swear. I'm going to try not to laugh. Dude, this is, they smell weird. Oh, they do. I bought one of these basically for, uh, in college, we did a uh, murder mystery <laughs> party. Don't, you don't even need to put one on. No, I do. That's the funny part. Sorry. It's going to hurt so bad to take it off. Uh, murder mystery Just don't party. put the whole thing on, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. The whole strip. Try to just stick it to your actual skin. <laughs> oh, man. Diabetes. You I do just, look like, what's his name? Wilfred. Wilfred um, Brim? W- Wilfred Brimley. Was that his name? Wilfred Brimley, I think that was his name. I just thought it would be really funny oh. to have clips of you, this show. You take it off and Dude, it's uh, just ah, a, normal another, guy. a normal face. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Dude, that's the, that, I hate um, that. This is a uh, walrus dark brown mustache, new. Uh, Thank you for sponsoring this video. Yeah, the, uh, this is... I just thought it would be so funny for us to be... I'm going to try not to look at the camera today because I think it will probably laugh, but... Because I, I don't think I've really ever seen you guys with mustaches. Yeah, I've never probably had one. Yeah. Um, I can't. It's tickling my lip. It's like a Mario mustache. It's really thick. I just got beer in it. Yeah, yeah I'm about to do the same. <laughs> Dude, I just think it's so funny looking. And I just thought it would be really funny to wear this for as long as you can bear. You know? Sure. It's Let's do a- the same thing. Um... So, yeah. It's been a while since we've been in here. It's Sorry. been a while. You uh, know what I mean? It's, it's a juggling act, right? Sorry. I meant to... Sean's just pulling out all the gear today. What are you doing now? Yeah. So I'm trying to find the cable. Um, I had a couple topics, but I don't know. I mean, I told you guys I did. I don't know about you guys. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I got, I got some stuff to talk about, but... Yeah, I got a few things. Uh, we, I definitely got things on the list. Uh, why don't we just go around I mean? the circle, Sean? Uh... All right, in a triangle. This one is a, maybe a quick, quick topic. What's this? So, um, oh, where's that? Where's that clip? It's um. What's this? I don't know how to, I I I labeled my in my notes uh, big dumb Twitter accounts, and I don't know what else to how else to explain them, but they're these accounts that keep coming across in the like yeah, recommended beautiful. section of you know how like it would be like hey follow this topic. Yeah, dude, some of them I hate them. Yeah, so what I've done, though, is I've started clicking on them, and I keep finding these accounts that are, like, tens of thousands of followers, but have, like, between 15 and 1,000 tweets. And they have, like, one... And they're tweeting just generic... Are you saying between 15 tweets and 1,000? 15 and 1,000 tweets. So, like, they... Uh, it appears that they're just consistently deleting. What's this? They're, whatever tweet doesn't go viral. And, you know, retweeting or t- tweeting the same thing till it goes viral. Oh, that was a good catch. Thank you. Yeah. Or just generic stuff. I, I, I just wanted to point it out. I think it's no. really weird. One of them, I, start, I started a list on Twitter um, called Big Dumb Accounts. And um, I started putting them in there. And I'll take some screenshots um, just an example, like Diabetes. when the Scholastic Book Fair opened, I ain't have the bread for it back then, but I could go crazy now. Um, dude, I vibe uh, with that, bro. Yeah. So yes, <laughs> it's very generic. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so much funnier with the mustache on. Dude, dude so tweet? okay. Oh, so fuck. yeah, okay. Sixty-eight point two k thousand followers. Sixty-eight thousand followers. Sixty-eight thousand. Sixty-eight thousand followers. Yeah. Uh, a thousand <laughs> nine hundred and fifty-eight tweets. It, all of them have the same thing in the bio too. It says turn notifications on for follow back or turn notifs on or something like that. Um, this account is Slappy. It's S L V P P Y. You've probably seen this stupid face on your timeline. So what are you telling me? I just I, I <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, I'm just I I fa- I've noticed it, and and there's a lot of these accounts out there. I mean, I found ten of them in the last like four days that are that are accounts with something related to turn my notifications on uh-huh. in the bio over thousands of followers. They must be botted. I, I think uh, they're purchased accounts. That's I think what I think. So. I because think they're, I, I think they're old accounts that were well. So let's look at. I just feel like if you have a bot network, and you can just retweet it, like you know, this is ten thousand times. Twenty ten. Twenty ten, and you have eight hundred and seventy tweets. Like that's like you said, you could have deleted yeah, all bizarre. of them or some of them or whatever. I don't know. I mean, this is forever Wylan. again. Another account you've probably seen on Twitter. This fucking I, frog face. Not, maybe. I, I mean, I don't. I don't Twitter like you, but forever whiling. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an addict. And it's, a, an, only, an banger, it's only banger tweets as far it's, as as far uh, as numbers. Yeah, almost yes. every. Yeah, I mean, I could see them deleting all the ones that don't go viral, like it's, you said. But I it's mean, so it could weird. be bot or bot accounts, or they were, or they are bots. You could have purchased or be bots, whatever. But I don't know. I mean, I see some stuff like that. You're saying it's all from like the follow thing. Well, so it, it, they show up in. <sighs> Twitter introduced this like topic. Yeah, that's thing. what I'm saying. It's from the topic, and it'll thing. say like, "Hey, you know, uh, based on your retweets, follow this topic." And there's not a gen- there's not a topic related to it. It's just like click follow for things that are related to retweets you've retweeted, and it'll be th- shit in this list. And I'll click on it, and I have no mutual followers. They have over this one has eight <laughs> eight hundred eighty eight thousand followers. Joined in twenty twenty. 21. So last year, September 2021. 20, and 1,027 tweets. Yeah, I don't know. I will say with the topics thing, like I, when I got viral. back into Twitter recently, at least like browsing it, I didn't really know. So I looked at the topics thing and I followed some stuff just because yeah. I was like, oh, maybe that helps. And uh, most of the stuff that I see that comes up is like, here's a specific topic that you're interested in or it's like you might be interested What's in. This? And I've not seen any like that. Most of the ones I've clicked on, the profiles, some of them are like not necessarily bots, but it'll be like, you know, anime fan art account or something. And it just continuously posts like fan art with links to the the artists. Yeah. And most of those, like I could see from the ones I've clicked on why they have a lot of followers because it's a super generic type of thing that you could get a bunch of people to follow. I think that accounts that are uh, like that, like... uh, and like a specific image type or like uh I mean, you know I follow an account called Every Color and all it does is tweet a hex uh what is it, a hex code and a square oh, yeah, I like of, that. I've of seen colors. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like it's yeah. just a random color every day, right? Yeah, but I'm saying that's not gonna be under probably too many topics. So well, like yeah. some of these that are but under the topics are going to be anime, like, right? Like just so it's yeah, tweeting but, pictures. But where of, are you seeing these from? Like the dude that just I don't know about Scholastic Book Fair. Like what topic was that under? No, it, it's under the topic of related to tweets that you've liked or okay. related to. Tweets so why that you've are you retweeted. so interested in Scholastic Book Fair stuff? I, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any dude, sense. It's just a viral tweet. It's exactly. What it it's is. exactly and that's what all it Sean is. likes is viral tweets. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's like you'd like this viral one. All I guess what I'm I guess the point I was trying to make. <laughs> Is that it's really weird how few tweets they have, yeah. how they're all viral, and they all have like thousands and thousands of followers. Do they like, have to be botted? I don't I'm know. Telling dude. you, it's just With really that weird. Few tweets. I think they don't know. I think they just delete whatever's not a banger. Well, think of it. And this there's way. probably a lot of people that see a banger tweet and they're like, "Yo, I'm following this guy, dude." I vibe with the Scholastic Book version, yeah, dude, so I'm going to the- follow them. <laughs> well, so I'm thinking like, okay, if if somebody who holds a few pretty big Twitter accounts, sees, or, or, or they want to blow up another account, like, 
you know, remember when they like all those old Twitter accounts that were huge, like like Will Ferrell and like yeah, oh, well, know, uh, uh, Willie Ferrell, yeah, yeah or like yeah, that, Phil that's Werrell. what I feel like it is. It's another wave of that shit. And so what they do is they take their million fucking Twitter followers and retweet it once, and then it just gets zoomed. All it takes is one, yeah, one account. Yeah, and so I I just don't get it, dude. It's just so weird to me to think like who is running these accounts, like. For, How do they get that many followers? Reason? Like, why are you doing it? Because you're tweeting generic shit. Like, well, I don't have money to go to placement? school book fair when I'm kid, well, but I have money now. There's a lot of stuff like on Reddit every once in a while. You see something that makes it the top page and you go and look at the account and it's like clearly either a bot or somebody that is just like, I don't know. They could be manufacturing these, yeah. but there are a lot of like only high rated posts that are super generic or like uh, stuff that's been like posted before that they post again or maybe on a different subreddit but it wasn't yeah. theirs originally and you can go and look through the whole profile and it's just like tens of thousands of upvotes on all of their posts but they've never like fucking commented on anything yeah i um i don't understand it Th that's because like when you look through their profiles you're not seeing ad placements right Yes, yeah, so see, I, I can have understand. Ad blockers, though, so. I, well, I was I'm saying, like, I could see if it's like viral tweet, and then it's like, check out this fucking no. lamp, moon no. lamp. No, so yeah, I can't block Twitter ads, and none of them have underneath the fucking like, uh, get the galaxy light or the yeah. fucking yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. vibrator, yeah. whatever that shit. Um, so that, yeah, I mean, it's just really interesting to me because there's no the only thing I can think it's the the purpose is serotonin. Right, yeah, I mean, and, and that's fair. Like, that's that. why I use Twitter, right? Like, I love when people retweet my shit. I love yeah. when people like that's how my they tweets. get their jollies, bro. Yeah, yeah, but dude, it feels like a business venture. That's what I don't get. It's maybe really they're trying to get weird. followers, and then they're gonna sell the. Account. That's that is the other thing that I think that's is probably true. either they're purchased that's already, it. and it's someone using it for that, or it's it, I'm gonna get as much followers and then sell it to someone who will pay me five hundred dollars for. Anyway. I just thought that was interesting. I noticed it a couple of days ago. I've been yeah, I've like started a that. list. Um, if you guys see any big dumb Twitter accounts you think fall in this category, send them to me. Join the Discord. I'm always in there. Um, somebody else go. I've got only a couple more topics. You go, Mace. We'll go around. So go around the horn. I just I, I've heard I've heard people discuss stuff like this before. This is a little bit more of like a meta conversation, oh. not like meta Facebook, like like like, uh, like we're talking about podcasts. Meta. Uh, we're gonna talk about podcasts well, on not, the podcast. No, well, it's yeah, it's like people on podcasts. I think I've talked about this, but three white dudes sitting around some microphones. I've found lately. Now everyone wants to hear our opinion. Now that I, for for most of my adult life, I would say like, you know, twenty and up. There's always there was always this divide, especially when I was in college, when I like didn't have any money, to be like, you know, let me get the Netflix password. Let me, uh, like, let me try and dig around and find an iPhone cable. Like, essentially, like, let's, let, I'm not going to pay for this, like, either because I can't afford it or I'm going to try and wait, try to find a way to, like, steal it, essentially. And what I've found lately is, like, these, these adult things where you're, like, I can just pay for it. Like, I don't know what I, I don't know why I'm still in this mentality of, like, I guess I'll just use my one iPhone cable and move it around the house when I need it or, like, we we were talking about going to Costco. This is what sparked the and and, and I the, my first thought when we were going to go to Costco was who do I know that has a membership and not I can just I can just buy a membership. It's like sixty bucks. Well, well I would no, say I for think, something like that. And like, so you don't, the reason don't know I'm, if it's... I'm bringing it up is like, do you guys have those things where yes. you're, where you're like, why am I not just buying this, dude? Like, that's exactly what I was just telling Steve today. Like. What did we need? What did we need when we were kids? When we bought the fucking Gundam model kits, was a pair of clippers. I don't know that we knew that that was like I know a better that, way but, to do it, but. but we didn't have access to the internet. Was one thing, but I went and bought a Gundam model kit at board. Uh, I keep saying fucking Borders, Barnes. Barnes and Noble. I went home and I opened it up and I was like, I don't have something to properly clip this with. And I've seen the clippers at Target and I was like, I'm going right now. And Danielle was like, No, I could give you something. Like, I I have something that would work. And I was like, No, I'm going to get what's right specifically thing. made for this. Yeah. Like, I'm done. F like, I've built ones with uh, nail clippers. nail clippers. Like, just clipping the plastic out with nail clippers and filing it off with a nail clipper. And I was like, All right, I'm not gonna do this again. It took me three and a half hours to build one when it should have taken me an hour. 
yeah. or an hour and a half. Exactly. So I understand that, and I, it's really frustrating. I don't know why we would do it. I think it's. I do think it might be like a borderline uh, evolutionary thing. Like, do I already have a solution to this problem? You know what I mean? Like, that's the default. Is well, like, should I just carry this cable around? You know what I mean? Well, well let it's me- like I just like for example, like I just bought three Anchor iPhone cables, which like I think Anchor's top. Yeah, notch. they're very yeah. good. If you're gonna buy cables, you got to do Anchor. Uh, because I had an, one Aki like well. one true uh, iPhone cable that the white one, like an actual like licensed yeah. cable uh, that I would like move from the couch to the bedroom to the to in here and and I was like, how much does an iPhone cable like ten dollars? You know no, what I mean? No, and like no. Well, you buy like, a, I got one two from Apple. It's I got two uh, Anchor cables for I think me off. twelve or fifteen bucks from Anchor. And it's like that was, it's like you have these quality of life improvements that like you just don't think about because you're you forget that you're an adult and you forget that you have money to pay for it, and like, I just I'm curious if you have a, an example of that where you're like, oh, I'm an adult now. Yeah. Uh, let me say I think Steve's I, entire fucking uh, <laughs> collection of. <laughs> well, hold on, that's different. <laughs> That's different, but what you're talking about is like not wanting to buy something yeah. even though you have the money for it well, because you're well, just forgetting. I think it's, I think forgetting. it's two things. Yeah, it's, it's that. It's like, do I need? I think sometimes it takes a, a, you to step back and say, I can buy this. Like, I could buy a second wine. Why am well, I carrying around this iPhone yeah. cable? I'm sorry, I'm not talking to the mic. I'm not used to you're it. You're fine. So, well, I agree. I I can't think of like too many things, but. There are definitely times where I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to have that, but I don't go and sit down and do it because I'm like, well, like I want to get a garlic press because you had one and oh, it's dude, nice. I want one of those. But like I'm, I hate like chopping up garlic when I'm just gonna roast it in the it. on the pan or whatever. But something I can say, and you know, my buddy Tony, uh, shout out Tony, yeah. roasted me for this around his birthday because I don't remember the last time I bought not dress socks because I just have socks and I wear them around the house or whatever. But when I go to work, I put on the dress socks that yeah. I bought. And then, you know, whatever the regular socks I have, I don't care. So I have some with, like, holes in it. And once they get, like, real holy, obviously you throw them out. But I have some that I've had for years that are worn down. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, like, every time I go get socks on the weekend and I'm, like, starting to run low on my not dress socks, I'm, like, I should probably just go and fucking buy some socks. But I don't do uh, it because I'm, like, I well, think the other thing on that, though, is, like, you get to Target. And because you don't have a list of things that you've said over the last yeah, three and a half years. That's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, buy, write, I don't write it down. I, I, don't. I do the same thing, dude. I'll go in and I'll be, like, dude, I should just buy a new one of these. And I don't. And I because I never remember. But I know exactly what you're talking about where, I, I mean, I did it recently. I separated. I put all of my cables together. And I separated what I use on a daily basis around the house. And then what I need to travel with, and I have what I travel with in my bag at all times, and then everywhere that I normally have a cable, is there one available to me? Yeah, yeah. I've recently had to buy more USB C cables because yeah. I was just like, I have a bajillion micro <laughs> cables, and I've just like stored some of yeah. those that could probably be trashed at this point. But USB C is not. I put those all in the garage. Like at this point, like I have two, I have two micro USB cables that I have in the house. Because almost nothing I use except for the meter and one, like maybe one other device uses that. Now, I mean, ask me five years ago, I would have been like, what the fuck, dude? No, yeah. there's no yeah. way. I mean, I will say I only have like, the, I basically use the phone charger that came with my phone pretty much exclusively. Still have that cable, but I have other options. So if I am just sitting at my desk or at the couch, like I have other USB C cables. USB-C I could. To I don't have to yeah. go up to my room. To iPhone to Lightning. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't have to go to my room. I have other ones like around, but I like I don't move. But when I go, I'm gonna stay somewhere. Yeah, I take the one yeah. charger that's by my bed that I use most of the time. So I leave this with me all the time, and I do not own a single Apple product. But Just if someone case. were to well, ask me, Lena, yeah. Lena does. Yeah, yes. that will help her. But other people have been like, yo, do you have a fucking charger? And, you know, it's in my bag at all times that, yes, I could because it's USB-C to Lightning. Yeah, it happened to me also when I bought um, the Xbox One controller I just posted on the Discord about. I'll put a little little screenshot. So if you see right over there on the desk, I was charging my old Xbox One controllers. 
And so I was trying to connect them to the computer and it didn't, it didn't work. And I looked up a video and it was like, if it doesn't have this type of plastic, it's not Bluetooth. And I was like, I literally like damn near gave up and was like, okay, I guess I'll have to use mouse and keyboard. And then I was like, wait, uh, there's a Target, there's a Walmart, there's like all these places, <laughs> there's a GameStop where I could just buy a fucking controller. And like I had literally like gotten to the point where I was like, there's no way I can fix this. And but but it's just these things where it's like No, I think you that, realize, okay, I have fifty bucks. Yeah, like, well, I can go buy a controller. I you know? haven't I wanna buy an Xbox controller to use for the computer, but I have like four other controllers that are good. It's just when I go play some games, the you know, if you buy a game on Steam, sometimes the button inputs are the Xbox controller buttons. Yeah. So I'm using my PlayStation controller or my eight bit do whatever, however you say that, uh, controller. And it's not exactly the same. And so, like, it fucks me up. Some games will recognize it sometimes, but most of the time they don't. And I just have gotten by with, like, memorizing what the button's supposed to be, not that it says A. Yeah. But, like, I want to do it. I just, I have other ones that are good controllers. It's not like I'm just fucking around with, you know, something terrible. But uh, I had bought some of my friend's uh, Xbox controllers because they were using like twenty dollar knockoff three hundred and sixty controllers to play on their computer, and I'm like, you guys need to upgrade. <laughs> exactly. So I, because I knew they wouldn't do it for themselves, and then I was like, man, I should just get myself one. But I wasn't about to drop like two hundred dollars on controllers at once. So. And I know that, like, obviously, I recognize that that's a priv- that's a very privileged yeah place of of like you know being that like oh, I can afford to go buy a fifty nine dollar controller like, uh, but. It doesn't. It's not just reserved to that. It's like, you know, <clears throat> whenever whenever I think about like, oh, I, I do really want that, but like, it's not the. It's not if I can afford it. It's like if I, if I'm going to, like, recognize that it's something that I c- could easily do. Um, it it's only when I see if it's like a really expensive where I think like, well, I probably shouldn't do that. It's like, but before that, it's like. Well, do I know anybody that has that? Or no, dude. I you think, know what I mean? I think, it's so bizarre. I think it's habitual, dude. I literally. I just think wonder it's, when that will go away. I mean, I think part of it too is like you said in the first place, we're not like that old, right? So, yeah, you, but dude, it was only, I mean, I'm almost thirty. I know, but I'm saying it was only you know maybe not even a decade ago that you were talking about what you're saying now, where you're in college, you don't have a lot of money. I mean, sometimes I still feel like I do shit that I'm like, I have real money for this, but yeah. There are, you know, things that we do that, I don't know, it's it's funny just because you're talking about the cables and stuff, like small things that maybe you don't think about, but then you're like willing to spend a bunch of dollars trying to complete the N64 collection because, but that's, that's different. It's I mean, so like out of mind. But even probably a couple of years ago, you might have been like, dude, that's kind of a lot of money to drop on games I might not play. And then once it comes around a couple of times, you're like, okay, you know what? It's not that much when you piecemeal yeah. it. It's yeah. not like it's an insane amount of money. I mean, what Sean was going to bring up earlier, the me buying figures, like I know it's just plastic that I like to have, no, but it's but, a yeah, collection like thing. It. Yeah, no. But even many years, when I first started, it was like hard for me to look at something and be like, oh shit, well, dude, that, $200? Well, that's, what, that's the perfect example to me though, is like you've broken out of that at least in that aspect of like, I am an adult, I can spend my money how I want to, Yeah, I, and mom can give me shit for spending, you know, $200 on plastic, but that's what makes she me does. happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who gives a fuck what mom's It's an says? investment, bro. <laughs> but do, yeah. d- doesn't she, like, spend money on, like, fucking, like, penguins Dude, tickets she and falls shit? For, hold I mean, on. I'm, I'm, she also falls for multi-level marketing stuff, so well, I'm going to leave on. it there. <laughs> bro, is she in Herbalife? Look, she's su- she's supportive. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. She just... No, I love my Every mom. once in a while, she says... Mom, love you if you're hearing this. Love you. Appreciate you. I'll just say... Marketing is bad, though. She She'll ask me, like, you ever think you're going to stop watching cartoons? And I'm like... No, 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 but, no, you know, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, same thing I'm saying, like, it took me a while to be like, you know, I bought, there's more expensive stuff out there, but I bought you know I mean? like a figure worth like $400, which was a lot for me at the time. But I remember when I first started looking at some stuff, there was a Bloodborne, like, like three foot tall statue. It was like 600 bucks. And I said, fuck, dude, I can't, I can't be doing that. Now I probably would have caved and bought that. But years ago, I was like, that's a lot. 
again, space being one thing. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into these thoughts where like, I feel like a cable, it's such a funny example because it isn't something you really need more than one of. That's, you're, you're not going to pay for the convenience, but now you're like, you know what? I yeah, do want the 15 convenience. 15 bucks. I want to riff on what you just said a little bit. I find that like, you were talking about buying figures and I, I think I when we went to East Starland together, you bought a figure that was kind of expensive, yeah. but it was like, like essentially bucks. the same as what it would be online. I look, give or yeah. take. Um, I find, and I'm curious about this. We don't have to talk about this forever because I know you probably have a ton to talk about. But I find that I have way less uh, like quote unquote buyer's remorse when I buy in person. And I almost feel like I have like, like I put down my walls when I buy in person as opposed to online. Because when I go online, I'm like, I'm trying to buy, find the best Are deal. you talking about, though, the same product you've seen in real life? Or are you talking about something you've never seen? Because I think yeah. there's a big difference yes. between between I've experienced and seen this product and I'm going to order it versus I don't know and I no one I know has this. Like Zelda, you order that off the internet, you know what you're going to get. You're getting the game, right? But if you bought Zelda merch from a third party that's not Nintendo it may end up being uh, uh, polyurethane leather yeah. instead of yeah. real leather, right? I'm talking about like, I've like just, this is what what made me think of it. I've been looking at like, I just bought Pokemon Snap, uh, Superman. Oh, are you feeling buyer's remorse about? No, 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 no. Part of your Probably should no. about Superman. Superman. <sighs> game sucks. It's terrible. It was cheap though. Um, it should be. Uh, Majora's sucks. Mask. I think I just said that. And Super Mario 64 for N64. I've seen those games. Not the PlayStation version? The, uh, no, the, uh, the uh, Wii version. Now, uh, I've seen all those games on you know, eBay, Mercari, Craigslist, whatever, for you know, their price charting value. And then I go to, to McKay's and I see it and I'm like, I'm buying it. I will and say, so, and I feel like I my fucking like, oh, I'm gonna get the best deal just drops when I go in I don't, person. I don't know. I don't feel that way because I think uh, that's when how I am. I know. I'm. You're asking, and, and I'm saying I don't think I feel that way because I think with things like that, where kind of like what Sean's saying, you know what you're gonna get. I would. I, there's there's an aspect of in person, and you see it, and you're like, I could just buy it right now, and then you're like, well, shipping and stuff too. Like maybe the price washes out, and like. I'm, when you see a game, maybe it's in perfect condition in person and online you might get the pictures, but I don't know. I I don't think like when we went to East Starland, I just kinda wanted to buy something. I yeah. didn't it wasn't like I'd been looking for this figure and I was like, dude, yeah, I'll just get it. Because it's cool. I like the character, it's a good figure, whatever. But um I mean I, I think, think if it's close to MSRP too, it's yeah. like you might as well. That's what I looked because I was like, you know, if I'm gonna order it online, but I don't know. I don't think my walls come down in person. The only time I'll say is if you are at a place you're not going to come back to for a long time. Part of that, like I just said, is maybe you just want to buy something, but also you're there and you're like, well, you know, I mean, I could spend a month trying to find the best deal and I'm here. Fuck it. Yeah, I I just feel like I tend to cave on the things that I really want. Like when I bought Banjo-Kazooie, it was a premium, but... It was right there in front of me. It's behind a glass case. It's the it's the essentially the same price I'd pay online, and it's in great condition. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm fucking buying it." Yeah, like, but you know, wouldn't have spent double. Yeah, yeah, probably not. But I probably would have spent one point, you know, two five. I probably would have spent seventy five on a nice cart because I was like, "I'm taking it home right now." Yeah, no, I mean that's what I'm saying is there's a there's a limit to that. I I, I agree that being there in person is enticing. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever, like, held out online and then saw it in person and be like, "Oh, fuck it." Yeah. No, yeah. I, I'll I'll agree with you there. It's either I'm wanting to buy it equally in both places, it's and just I just that, pull the trigger because it's in front of me yeah. and I can have it that day, or I, like I said, I've not seen the product, and seeing it in person, you're like, "Okay, yeah, I could do that." Where, yeah, that that would be where I'm like, "Okay, let me let me." I'm touching it. It is what I'm expecting. Let me buy it. Okay. So. Cool. It's your turn. Sorry. No, hey, you're man. good. I'm just trying to figure out, do we want to go talk more? Uh, hey, What's man, at the top see. of your list? Well, I just read something today, but I feel like it can be like kind of weird direction depending on how you guys want to talk about it. But I feel like, you know, it could be fun. 
Uh, and we've had similar conversations, so it's not outside of the range. But I was on Reddit today, my favorite place to hate, and uh, I was just reading some stuff, and I saw something, like, there's always the comment about, like, oh, you just got to assume everyone online is a teenager, mm-hmm. right? Like, because you argue with someone, and then you realize that oh, yeah, they're a teenager, 12. and, like, they don't know what they're talking about, or not necessarily that, but you know what I mean. Like, sure. it's not worth arguing with a kid. Um but then I saw somebody on it and was like, except when you go to the subreddit r slash teenagers, you should assume none of those are teenagers. And it was weird because I'm like, well, that's a strange thought. Ew. But when you look, you know, on the top post that might come up on your front page or whatever, it all always seems like kind of teenager bullshit. And somebody's like, oh, yeah, it's back in the day. Like you go into a chat room, you never assume anyone is the age they say. Yeah. Nowadays, depending on where you are, right? Like still probably the same thing. I thought this was funny or weird, depending on how you want to talk about it. But two years ago, there was a drama subreddit that doesn't have a lot of followers or anything, but they talk about drama or some shit. And they went and they basically went and looked and found people that are on the teenager subreddit and banned them from drama, even if they weren't subscribed or hadn't posted. But they went and banned them and said it was for being underage. And they got a bunch of people that immediately would reply and be like, oh, I'm not underage. I'm 51 or I'm 34. <laughs> Whoa. And so they were people that they banned from drama with the intention of showing that they'd been posting on the teenager subreddit and are not teenagers. And they got a shit ton of replies of these like weirdos yeah. that were on there between, you know, 20s to like that's 40s, really 50s. That's I don't like bizarre. that. bizarre. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, yeah, it's, it's weird. And that's why I was What saying, is your takeaway uh, from that? Uh, that, yeah, still don't trust anything on the internet. People can talk like kids yeah. and well, pretend. So, well, ASL. Something that I was reminded of today that is on the same note as, as this is, do you guys remember, uh, you might, you probably won't, there was a com- uh, an account called L-O-Hell, which was E-L-L-E-O-H-H-E-L-L-E. And it was an account that was uh, portrayed as a, por- it was a portrait of a woman going by the name L. Um, and it was a couple years that this person amassed hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of followers, sorry. On what? Twitter. Twitter. And then came out eventually and was like, hey, um, I've been role playing as a woman on this account. Uh, the picture is actually a portrait of my wife and we're getting a divorce. Hmm. And... And uh, this guy was gaining the trust of women in DMs and whatever, and the point of his... Please clap. Exactly. The point of his <laughs> shit was to, uh, quote-unquote, obtain a girlfriend, which... Weird, you know, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, super bizarre story. He Now, if you go look at the account, it's got, like, maybe 300, 400 followers, I'll, and they I'll had tens and, tens and thousands. Um, I, re- I was reminded of it today. Uh, someone retweeted it, one of their tweets onto my timeline, and they went through and deleted a lot of their tweets. But there's some still that are up. That that's one of bizarre. the one that's pinned is like, "Hey, fellow ladies, let's trade feet pics just for fun" or something like that. And it's like oh, I you saw tweeted you retweet that, that or yeah, something. yeah, exactly. And, I, and so it, he tweet he tweeted that at some point under the guise of his wife playing as a woman to try and get feet pics from other women. Like, you know, I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's weird, but... It's bizarre. Yeah, that's... That whole fucking thing fucks me up, dude. I don't trust that at all. I'm just saying, I thought it was interesting. This was two years ago, and it's a small subreddit. It was a funny, like, trick that they did, I thought, to, like, kind of show. They posted it, and they're like, yeah, it's weird. Um, And they post, like, some of the messages they got, blurred out the names and things. But on what you're talking about, too, just, I guess, still on the subject of, you know, maybe don't trust people. In high school, there was this, like... MySpace account of this girl that went to the school that we didn't go to that nobody knew anyone from and uh, she like became friends online with a bunch of people we knew. Catfish. It was like the first, yeah, like catfish that I had really experienced. Oh, really? Yeah, it was <laughs> shout out to anybody listening if they remember this but she was like friends with a bunch of people <laughs> and uh, Do that, have to sound- that. Do so- that sounds No, like it was a fake name. Oh. oh, okay. I mean, it was the person. I thought you were saying no, that's who no, was no, no. running it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, all the, right. The MySpace page was, <laughs> and it was like, I mean, that's probably somebody's real that fucking is name. Someone we went to high school with. I mean, I did. 
I'll bleep it just to be safe. Okay, it's not fucking, but either way, it was like this funny yeah, fucking not page. That person. And uh, she had like all these pictures, talked to like one of the guys I knew was like, I'm going on dates with her. Some of the girls at school were like, oh yeah, I've met her at f- football games or whatever. And uh, for a long time, like how would you know? People are saying they knew her, they talked it's to her, talked to her yeah. on the phone, or I met her. And uh, many months later, I remember a couple of our friends went and found like, there are the, um, I don't know what you call them, maybe you might know, but I feel like this is more of an older thing for like pages where they went and found like a, not stock photo, but it was like just a bunch of photos of this girl that were used as site models. So you could use her to like show what a yeah, MySpace like page would look like. Essentially just uh, like stock photography. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, someone found the page of like every single picture this girl had ever posted on this like stock photo basically website. And this was before Google image reverse search was the thing you could do like 10 I or whatever. And I don't know how it was found, but someone posted it and then she just like disappeared, but she was there. And then she had like other friend accounts that other people were like, Oh, I'm dating this girl. It was super weird. Like a strange social experiment at the time where I wonder who was behind the account. It was me. I have some theories, but it was me all along. Could it have been like, uh, just like the, you know, fuck your police, just like trying to keep their eye on stuff. I don't know. It could have been, or it could have been just. I should believe that dude. too. I mean, they it fucking could be. know where we live. I mean, by, yeah, if you listen by the, the videos, yeah. But, yeah I mean, Honestly, but, I was thinking about the fact that we did put our gamer tags in our uh, in our video. I don't care, dude. I do a little bit. All what right. are they gonna reach out, dude? All seven people that watched it, dude, they're gonna reach out to you, dude. No, I'm just. Gonna they're gonna reach out to your sh- mustache, sh- regardless. Sh- uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> No one wants and we also game. put like whatever dude's name on blast, the uh, death by squirts or whatever the fuck the dude. Oh yeah, lethal squirts. Lethal squirts. Dude, Craig forty and uh, four, Kush four. Mystic. Yeah. Yeah. Look, so no, I'm just I don't know who it was. I have some We're theories, but canceled. I think it's funny and weird that these things do happen. I've experienced that the show catfishing, or whatever came out, like the MTV show, like that stuff's weird and real. Yeah. But, uh just the people like pretending to be. Someone uh, else. Someone yeah. else is yeah. always strange on the internet. So still be safe. I just thought that was an interesting thing that I, I'm not surprised, but it was like kind of funny how they were like, we got a ton of these people responding saying they were adults. What I- what is an art slash t- teenager? Like, what is it for? It's just a subreddit for like teenagers. Post. You're like supposed to be a teenager and you can get like a flare yeah, on two yourself. Mi- two million shows. subs. Yeah. It's just a place where teenagers or, post dumb shit and vent memes. Two, mi- two, two million members? Is that what they're called? Yeah, members. I follow r slash I'm 14 and this is deep. Have you well, seen that's that? Not, yeah, that's but, different. Yeah. That's making fun of r slash teenagers. Pretty well, much. Sometimes. Not necessarily just the... Yeah. I mean, that's the meme about like... Yeah, for but, teenagers by teenagers. It's just supposed for to, discussions and memes that a, an average teenager would enjoy to discuss about. Dude, it's so hard to drink with this yeah. thing on. Yeah. I have to like tip it back. Like, no, I'm having to... Yeah, I, because I've got it like we made it forty minutes, boys. We can go the rest. Um, yeah. What do you got, Sean? I have yeah. other things, but I, all right, I've got one. It might be quick. So it might be long. Yeah. I, I, I am experiencing this right now, so that's why I want to talk about it. And I think this is the first time I've ever realized what was happening. But uh, game funk, like, or like the lack of motivation to play a game, or like, oh yeah, want like so. I am playing or was playing Arceus. Yep. I'm really enjoying it. Yep. Really like the game. Yep. Way better than any other Pokemon game I've played For recently. sure. And I don't want to play it. I Dude, I haven't picked it up in like two weeks. Is it because I don't enjoy the game or is it because there's something in my brain that's stopping me from like... And on that same note, now that I'm realizing that, is have other games quote unquote been ruined or I didn't like them because I was in this mental state? Uh, probably. Yeah, that's I mean, that's what's fucked, what man. Is like going on, and that's why I was really frustrated because like I felt like I was like Pokemon. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna love it. It's gonna be great. But like four is a five. I said the same thing. I really like that game. I don't want to play it. Pokemon. I don't really? want to play. It. I don't know, man. I go through phases where like. Sometimes I just want to watch TV all the time with my free time, and sometimes I want to play games with all my free time. Like, there was a while, like a year ago, where I was watching like 12 different shows that were airing like weekly. So it was like every day I was watching different shows, and then I binged something on the weekend. I was playing no games, 
And then there was a time where I spent 300 hours playing Final Fantasy 14 just all at once because it was fun and I didn't do anything else with my free time. And I don't know, I feel like I, I definitely do that. I go through phases and I've been trying to balance it because I don't want to just not play games when I have so many games I buy and don't ever fucking play. But, I mean, even Persona 5, I've been playing a lot and I'll eventually talk about it when I beat it in like six months. But I played it for like 30 five hours when I was locked in my room because of COVID. Yeah. You know, I was off of work and I was just sitting in my room doing jack shit and I did other stuff, but I played that for like a week and uh, now I'm at like 60 hours since like the week after Christmas. I've only put in another like 25 since then because I'm just going slow and I'm not really playing much else here and there. I'll get on some stuff, but yeah, I I, I have the same thing with Arceus, dude. I, I, I played it like nonstop for probably two weeks or maybe a week and a half. And then I kind of got busy with work and I was looking at the like great deals on the Switch eShop. And you dude, Dad-ish. I dude, I cranked Dadish one and two in like three sittings. Yeah, yeah but I mean, like short, I feel but... like that's the, so I feel like that is an a maybe it's the fact that it is an unattainable goal that sometimes I feel overwhelmed by a game, right? Like Ar- Arceus, I know I just need to beat the main story. Yeah, obviously I'd like to complete the Pokedex. That's why I never got into Pokemon. Yeah. I do not want to feel yeah. like I should complete the Pokedex. But I don't even know that that's the case, right? Because I'm uh, just saying. Forza, right? Like, that game is just racing. Like, and I loved Horizon 4, and I loved 5, and I played it a lot, but I didn't put nearly as much time into it as 5, and it's a better game. Yeah, or, I mean, as four, you also did, game. like, just beat 4 before 5 came out. Fair. Yeah, you, you also put in have a lot of hours. You yeah. have not started Halo I, Infinite's campaign. Yeah, I have. I started it and then I put it down as soon as I, I know got you to the said open it's because you just want to play co-op with me and you're waiting for that. I know that, but you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. It just I guess it's just frustrating. I don't know how to get out of it. I I don't know if I like it can like if I have to just wait. It's just a weird feeling that like I know I will love this game that I don't want to play. I will say two things and then I probably don't have much more to say on this because I agree with everything you're saying, but partially what um. Mason said, where sometimes for me, and it might even be a small thing, but you were playing a game, you got busy with work, and then it's very hard to go back sometimes, and not for any reason like, oh, I'm lost in the story now, or I don't remember how I'm not good at this point. Like, it's Pokemon. Like, you can jump back in. But there's definitely been stuff like the new God of War that had come out on PlayStation. I got that. I got sick. And then I didn't play it the whole, like, week I was sick, because I was just lying in bed watching TV. And then once I wasn't sick anymore, I was like... Yeah, I just don't feel like going back to it. I don't know yeah. why. I know it's a great game. I should eventually, but... I think you kind of lose the muscle memory with the controls a little bit. Well, I'm saying even, like, besides... Like, I can see that as a reason. I didn't ever beat Sekiro because I took off, like, two weeks and I was at the last boss and then I tried to fight him and I just got spanked and I was like, yeah. dude, I mean, I don't want to practice or keep dying. Eventually, I should just go replay it, but... Yeah. I'm just saying some things can just take you out of it and like the momentum I'm is lost yeah. and then it's hard to get back into it even if it's only been a week or two and there's so many other games that we have like this uh, it, it like just sucks that that happens issue. like I want to play Arceus and I can't I think sometimes this works for me I I tend to just try to pick it up and just force myself I, to play well, it and then that yeah seems to punch me back in. Yeah, I, almost, I mean, that's probably what I should just try. But, like, I feel like it's, like, when I'm, like, what do I want to do? I'm feeling like I should do something other than play video games. Like, nah. whether that's clean or, like, be well, productive. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm in this funk where there are times where all I want to do is play video games, but now I don't want to do anything. That's what I'm saying. It'll, it'll come back around. I do think... It just sucks. I don't know if it's going to happen to Mason, but I do think sometimes with long games, um, it's fun to go and like take a break and play something small, or even if it's not a short game like Daddish, but something where you only play for a couple hours and then you're like, okay, I'm good, and then it makes you want to go back to the thing you were playing because yeah. you're like, oh, that was fun. Well, I, what else? Oh, I was playing that. I'll get back into it. I mean... I like to try to play smaller games when I can just because playing a game that's going to be 40 hours is kind of like a daunting task to get into. And if you're like halfway in it or whatever, you're like, ah, uh, I'm halfway done. I mean, I don't know if I should go back now or just play something else. Like I got my time. Yeah. Um, 
Can I yeah. just real quick? Yeah, yeah. I want to drop this. Like, I think you can make this into a short TikTok, whatever. Um, Blackberry's dead, guys. Uh, Blackberry's dead. I think. Uh, I was always a big fan of Blackberry, but they were purchased by uh, TCL, or the rights were purchased to the name of Blackberry, and the design of their keyboard were purchased by TCL. Uh, TCL's made a couple of Blackberry phones. I had one. Yeah. I had the Passport. Well, I've that was not made by Bla- pa- TCL. Oh, no, no, no. No, it wasn't. TCL made, I think, the Key 1 and Key 2. Is that the one you had? No, I had the Priv. I think oh, they might have made the Priv, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I know for sure they made the Key 1 and Key 2. Anyway, uh, TCL in 2020 sold or gave the rights to BlackBerry to another company called Onward Mobility. Um who was working on a prototype device, which is what I posted in the Discord a couple that weeks ago. That long AF It was phone. a very long phone. Yeah. Could look um, fun in wallpapers for that bad yeah. boy. Um, but enough. I think that it could have been a dope device. Um, I miss physical keys. I could type without yeah. looking. Rest in peace, BlackBerry. That's it. Pull the plug! Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, Mace. Maddie and I last night saw Uncharted. Unfarted. Isn't that a game? It's, it is. It they is made a, a game movie. that was, ter- was uh, made into a a feature length motion picture. And uh, did you play the game? No, I want to play them. I have not. I think we all kind of know what it is. It's like this guy named Nathan Drake, and it's this basically other- cooler Indiana. Jones. It's like I'm Indiana get Jones, for that, but it, he like snaps necks. Okay, let me say this. You know what I'm saying? The game, yes, probably. The yeah, okay. movie, okay. Well, here's the thing, no. though. <laughs> the movie, Dude. they they were like, let's go for younger actors, and they Dude. made Nathan Drake, Tom Holland. Okay, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna give you like a two sentence summary of the, of my like. Yeah, I want to hear film. what you think. Potential spoiler alert. Sorry if you haven't seen it, you're gonna see it. Sorry. Uh, skip to the time code on screen. Um, Just listen. The, it's essentially I as far as I'm concerned, the first game. They like find like a pirate ship or something with gold. Is that the first game? Have you played? Did you? No, say you I know it? I have not played the games, but it is its own story that okay. they took elements right. of the games from. Uh, as far as I am aware, it's not in the games. The Sully character is like an older man, like a gray older man, yes. right? It's fucking Mark Wahlberg. He's played by Mark Wahlberg, who is he's probably forty eight or fifty, but like. He's not. He's in great shape. He looks great. He's not gray. I don't know why they chose him. Tom Holland. He's like still in his like Spider Man groove. He acts a little bit older in this, but it's like still has his Spider Man acting vibes. Yeah. And I don't know. It just all of the roles felt very phoned in. Like just like they all got fat checks, and they were like, "We got to do this." But the weirdest thing about it, so like the whole reason I'm bringing this up, the movie was really not that great. I really wouldn't recommend it unless you're like a big Uncharted fan. Nathan Drake, the original voice actor, was in it for a second. He was oh, like really? on the beach or something. That's cool. Which is cool. But at the beginning of the film, when they show like, you know, like Sony and like so so and so pictures made the film, dude, they do this animatic that is like Piece games. for piece, Marvel. Yeah, but it's, it's like with so God many of video War, game stuff. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank, uh, you know, Horizon yeah. Zero Dawn. Like, and it, they're like all in this like statue thing. And Maddie and I both looked at each other and was like, "What the fuck was that? Like, is this the the SCU? Like, what's going on? Like, this is totally weird." Sony you know, Cinematic Universe, yeah, dude. It's like all their properties, and I'm starting to believe based on that. That they're gonna throw a ton of money into making their biggest franchises from Sony video games into films. Oh yeah, they've already said they're gonna do that, dude. Was I, Uncharted bad? Did it? I mean, I, dude, I, I think it's got like a all I've thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. All I'm like, hearing is that bad, it's no bad. different than your other generic action movies. Like they put the Uncharted name on it, but it's not like it's yeah. anything special, dude. I don't know. It's like a lot of double crossing. It's it's a sh- the movie is a shittier and Indiana Jones. The game's probably great. I mean, but I, I was heard just, those games are really good. Yeah, 
I mean, they sold enough copies to make a fucking film yeah. out of so, it. I mean, they That's said that they want to they want to do this because it's another avenue to make money with their IPs that they own. They already announced fine. a Ghost of Tsushima movie. They're making a Last of Us TV show. Like they're gonna they're gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, it seems a little bit like it could be you know video game adaptations not always the best, but most Rob. of that is because. A lot of games are longer than you're gonna have for a movie, and they do things like, oh, for marketing, we got to put Tom Holland in because he works with Sony. We got him; like he, he's a great I, actor. Everyone loves him. But I love Tom Holland as Spider as Spider Man. But dude, I really think that they f- really fucked the casting on this film. There's people, there is popular and not so popular actors that look so much more yeah, Nathan like Fillion should have. Yeah, been I mean, Drake. they're just like I don't even feel like they're trying. You know Again, what I mean? like they're just like, let's get the paycheck. It screams the boardroom committee decided how are we going to turn this into. Let's a- get Spider Man and the fucking guy from Transformers and Antonio well, that Banderas. Is not how I've ever heard anyone describe Mark Wahlberg. What's his What's his come up? I don't know, dude. I always probably the first the Departed. Movie, I really remember no. him in as the Departed, but yeah. wasn't he the guy in uh, the Fighter Four Identity? No, that's Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Oh. I always confuse them still. But. What's the other guys you were just talking about? Mark Wahlberg. Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Marky the same Mark, guy. dude. I was going to the say. Guy. They're uh, boys. But they're the same guy. What's What was his song? You know that one Marky Mark song? Dude, I don't Matt know. Matt Damon. What where is that would, from? So, where he, would, he was wearing the whitey tighties, and he was fucking ripped. I know ripped. what you're talking about, but I don't know what uh, it was. It was like, respect. T- no, it's not him. He, it's got that, dude, it's got that garage track. Ding, 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 ding. No idea. Dude, I'm just going to play. But, I'll cut it out. Uh, it, th- this uh, the song is actually not so bad. Um, I just want to say Mark. video game adaptations are probably always not going to be great because God I, that song, that's Marky Mark. You've never seen this? You know, dude, that yeah. song. Uh, that's Marky Mark. That's Mark Wahlberg. I don't know, dude. I really think that they could have made a big statement with this and I think they just went for the check and I think it's sad, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. I didn't see the movie, but as soon as I saw the casting, I was like, okay, so it's like not like an origin story. They're just, like I said, it sounds like they made their own story and took elements from some of the other games just to have like the airplane set piece where they're all falling out. Yeah, the cargo bay, like that's a big scene from one of the games. Yeah, and and I I, I think those pieces were actually really yeah, fun. But, where I was like, I, I guarantee this was in the video. Yeah, game. it's just like you said. I mean, I think they're just it's marketability, right? I mean, I just I don't know. I and I I know people in the comments are gonna say like, well, what did you expect? You know what I mean? Going in, you knew Tom. Hall. I, you guys just like to go see movies. We but, we have the movie pass so I, or the Regal yeah. pass, so we go and see like, oh well, let's see it. But like. I just really think that they squandered a big opportunity. And well, that's all I have to let's say just hope it. The Last of Us show is good uh, and that the Ghost of Tsushima movie or whatever they're doing is good. Ghost of I, Tsushima. Did I hope that whatever I hope else it's good, do. dude. Go ahead. All right. One more thing, probably. Um, at, at least, yeah. Go for Pro- it. Yeah, probably one. Uh, it's not anything huge, but I. it's more like uh, the start of the discussion that I think is kind of funny. This thing, these things happen. By the time this comes out, it'll have already been out for like a week, as we do. But um, did you guys see like Capcom had this like week long countdown for game announcement? No, mm, Capcom did. Yeah, they put up like a website. Was it Street Fighter Six? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I saw a bunch of people dogging on the logo, being like, "Yo, this app won't stop blowing up my phone," and it was a little symbol of uh, <laughs> the six with the red notification. Yeah. <laughs> it uh. Street. Fighter. Yeah, uh, so they just logo. didn't completely not, I, miss that whole thing. I saw something Street Fighter. People were pretty pissed about the logo redesign. Well, I don't know. I mean, Street Fighter 6's logo looks like $80 clip art. This is from Kotaku. I'll take a screenshot. So, I don't that's not what I want to talk about. If you guys want to shit on the logo, that's cool, but oh, okay. yeah, what I think is funny logo sucks. is that is that they Put it up like a seven-day countdown. Didn't say it was going to be Street Fighter. They just Where, Capcom though? online. They had like a website oh, set up for okay. it. This countdown timer thing for seven days, and then seven days later they release like a teaser with no gameplay, and it just shows like jacked as fuck Ryu, <laughs> and like I don't know. It's so funny to me that games do this thing now where they're like, hey, 
Uh, we're announcing that um, two weeks from now we're going to announce the release Dude, date. Uh, well, yeah. What is yeah. that? And well, for like their, wait, we got a game. Come check it out. And then they show it's like Street Fighter so, 6. It's like you could have just said done. it was coming I, out. I do find that to be fucking annoying. And I will say the only time I feel like I found that to be acceptable, we've talked about actually on this podcast before, was the Outer Worlds trailer where it was like, hey, we're making another game. <laughs> Yeah. We don't know when it's coming. We're not going to show you anything. Yep. Like, but I also, it was very much making fun of the fact that that is the industry now. It's anticipating yeah. the anticipation. I mean, it's tongue in cheek. Yeah. And also, yeah. it's not like Obsidian isn't working on other stuff, too. So, yeah. I mean, it was just nice that this new franchise they announced. I mean, so many games are announced too early, is one thing. I mean, when the um, Switch first was like shown off. They had this like pictogram of all of these third party studios. Yeah, I that remember that <laughs> were like promising to help because you know the Wii and Wii U. I mean, we had a bunch of like shovelware and some good games from third parties, and the Wii U was basically like scraps and obviously died. We all know that. But the Switch, they're like, oh, here's all these companies and here's some games, and they announced like Skyrim couple things was on there. Bethesda was on there. I mean, that so, did come out, but but should, they said Bethesda and all that ever ended up was Skyrim, right? You know, that's what. Whatever. Anyway. Dude, I would love a Fallout 3, but... Yeah, it was anyway. It was anyway, continue. Uh, Shimigami Tensei uh, 5 just came out yep. on the Switch. Yep. Bayonetta 3 wasn't there, but it was shown at, like, the Game Awards the year the Switch had come out or something, and, like, still isn't out, and they finally showed off some gameplay, like, in the last year. But it's, you know, a lot of games do that type of thing where they show it off too early or they announce it because they want people to get hype. But this week-long countdown to show nothing... Is so funny because I know there are Street Fighter fans. I'm not going to say, like, who cares, right? Fighting yeah. games, Street Fighter's big. They'll always be big. People are still going to be playing, too, though. Like, I know 5 was popular-ish. I mean, it's cool, but it's just so funny to me that people think, I don't know, is it to get, they got a week of hype. Like, that's why yeah. I heard about it is because I saw, like, Capcom has that's this. stupid, dude. Dude, I'm actually going to say something that I think you've said to me before, why they do it. A lot of these companies... If they're public, they have shareholders and they have board of directors and they have investors and like yeah, they have to be like guys. This is what we're working on. But I, I think, but I mean, I'm saying, I have to assume you know, you're not wrong. I just think I, I, it would have been just as fine if a week ago they said Street Fighter Six is coming out. Yeah, it would have been exactly the same. But I think people were mad because they're like, dude, a week and many people have been hoping it was like new, you know, any other Capcom franchise they were. Like hoping for, but give me another Mega Man. Yeah, eventually. Zero. I mean, they did make a Mega, Mega Man in the last couple Mega years, Zero, though. Yeah, well, his story's over, but but just give me. Yeah, a new one. I, I, it's such a waste of time. It's it's like, I think everybody just wants to be in the limelight, and so to make this big gesture, you have a lot of people's eyes. But yeah, dude, do that when you have a fucking full gameplay trailer. Like, don't bullshit us with a fucking logo that honestly looks like. Like a sorority tote bag, like a monogram. Like it looks terrible. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know that I care. But, I get what they were going for, but yeah. they minimalized it so much that it looks like shit. It, lo it actually looks really bad. And I know they probably paid like, yeah, five million for that fucking I, logo. I did hear there was some like, I don't know, some kind of event that was supposed to be happening that ended up getting canceled that it was going to align with, but I don't feel like that's a good enough excuse for me to have like a week long countdown for a it's teaser a, it's trailer that doesn't show anything it's too much i don't know it's just hilarious to me cuz i was kind of getting excited i'd heard rumors of like resident evil 4 finally getting a real remake <clears throat> and uh i was like maybe that's what it'll be and you know anything else it wasn't going to be mega man but you know it could have been tight did capcom do um What's the fucking fighting game from the GameCube with Link in it? That is Soul, Soul Calibur. Calibur and that Did is they not... do Soul Calibur? I thought it was Namco. Yeah, it's Namco. Are you sure? I could be wrong. I, I, I mean, obviously I could. Soul Calibur 2. I'm probably fucking wrong. Uh, it's Bandai Namco. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Yeah. Well, I just wish they'd come out with a really, actually good Gundam you fighting sure game. You sure about that? But, I mean... There's one on Game Boy Advance I had that was pretty yeah, fun. The Gundam that game is the only good one. I, I don't know. Have that ROM on the GP. The Gundam. Uh, you should check you it should out. The, actually, the, the SD Gundam one was pretty fun. 
I was gonna say the uh, Gundam like build fighters. You like get gunpla parts. It's all about like kits and battling other people's kits, and you can make your own. That's pretty cool. And they have cool like shaders you can put on well, for the whole skin. Like I said, if I'm I'm if I'm not over this in a month, then we'll talk. So can I sure a before we again. end? Can I get Maddie to come in here and take a photo of us like from wide, like just like we're talking? We're not just so that yeah, I ahead, can try to know. use for the thumbnail. I just want to try a different thumbnail scheme here. Yeah, guys, uh, stick around for Maddie to take sure. a picture. You want me to? You want I'm me call, to? Uh, I'm calling her right you now. You want me to just do a little selfie? No, no, no. I, ultra she wide has selfie. a wide. She has an ultra wide. So do I. That ultra wide selfie. Hey. Hey, can you can you uh, come take a picture of of us with your phone? Yeah. <laughs> I just need the wide angle. Just like a little photo. Yeah, just you'll see. You'll see. She not know. I, she knows I bought them. I, I think she forgot. Dude, Steve, did you see what I was doing with the mustache over my nose? I put the mustache over my nose while I was still clipped on my lips. I did not. Dude, it's like stuck to my. Uh, it's. I hope it doesn't dude, pull. Dude, dude it hurts. It will. Pretty bad to pull off. I've been pulling it the whole time. Thank you. No, no, no. I thought you were going to propose. We're, no, no. We're going to... We're, we're just going to act like we're talking. Oh. Yeah. Can you just get a wide angle? A photo, like, photo opportunity. Like a wide? we got to get a thumbnail. But, you, you know, know what? You, we've got to have... We've got to have... Can you just zoom? It doesn't have the wide angle? I, mean, I have a wide angle. She has a wide angle. You have... Babe, that's the 12 Pro Max. You've got that. What's the oh. wide angle? You just tell me what it is. Thanks for listening, guys. Point seven. <laughs> you just zoom out. Are you guys almost done? Yeah, we're yeah, we're, we just can need you tap? Can you tap it and... Oh, no. Is a, what? Here, let me take this picture. Here. Can you just record the podcast over? Yeah. Hey, we're supposed what, to be talking. We're supposed to be so talking. Mason's looking at the iPhone, though. Sorry, so. I'm trying to get the... Uh, Can you just do it? And I'll here. Take a picture. I, I, did the, I, did, I did it so that it looks a little bit darker. Hey, we're talking. Yeah, I mean, you know so what I mean? did you guys think about that? Dude, that, was that great, logo was great crazy. Great podcast we yeah. just did, guys. And Street Fighter. It's, we look great in these mustaches. Are you guys Fire. watching Smiling Friends? You should. It's I on HBO Max. No, I haven't really watched good. that yet. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All Thanks, right. Guys. That's all. Thanks for listening, fam. Uh, Want to watch us watching. take these off? Yeah. Um, ah, fuck, dude. Uh, clip all that last part and uh, put upload that specifically to uh, Okay, Twitch. that wasn't so bad. I'm going to put Twitch? mine to, yeah, to Twitch. Make a VOD. There we go. Yeah, that kind of hurt. Thanks for um, listening. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya. See ya. Debuff is hosted by me, Steve Skeels, edited and mixed by Mason Carlton. Follow us on Instagram at debuffpod. That's debuffpod. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one.